Oh, yo, her ether gear, yo, she's gonna show us what she can do, man. Yo. What's up, guys? It's Leviathan, and we are back with another reaction today. We are watching Eden Zero, episode 9, continuing this fire anime off. Oh, my God. I can't even, like, describe how, like insanely hyped i am to watch the show and record it because there's times that like i have to keep myself back and i'm like I, I don't have any more time to record i've ex like i have no more recording time today i can't watch any more episodes i mean i have other stuff that i like react to and whatnot but this this i literally started maybe maybe a week and a half ago and i've had maybe like three recording sessions since then and I'm already on episode nine so you already know that I've been kind of just grinding the recordings <laughs> for this show but um it was great recap of episode nine um we we were on the ship Eden Zero we learned a little bit of uh information we learned that there's three more robots or whatever bots that need to be a part of Eden Zero ship before they can leave the Sakura Cosmos I assume they didn't directly say that but I assume you need all three of those bots to properly um, keep the ship ma well maintained before they leave the soccer cosmos. Because they the what's it called the ship's um I'm not I'm gonna say it's heart because it's it's the robot that kind of controls the ship. So it's heart um, essentially was like that's what's needed and it's very dangerous to uh, go out outside the soccer cosmos. And all that, but whatever. And this is already being a t uh, too long of an intro. Anyway, <laughs> so they go through that. The bot explains that to them. They say, okay, cool, whatever. We're going to go back to Blue Garden. They go back to Blue Garden. And then there's a uh, cyborg who's attacking, I guess, B Cooper influencers or whatever. <laughs> so this thing, I think, was kidnapping them or whatnot. And, and it turns out that when Shiki comes back from like fighting this cyborg, Rebecca's also kidnapped. And then we come to find out that this thing called Elada or whatever, Elada, this weird fat looking thing was like collecting these B Cooper girls and then like um, turning them into stone and using them as like tapestry. And mind you, they're all fully naked. <laughs> so <laughs> you know what he's doing with those stone statues. We know what he's doing. But <laughs> anyway, um, she's kidnapped. So episode ends off with Shiki getting all pissed off. He's like, what? Rebecca got kidnapped? And we see like happy, like half broken and like beaten up. So like it must have been a really like serious thing because it doesn't seem like it's like lighthearted or whatever. The show can get really lighthearted. But what I appreciate the most about it and what's making me really into it is how dark it can really get because fairy tale never got dark like that it was dark but it never really got dark like that where people actually died people were kidnapped stuff like that and that never happened and i think that's why eden zero is actually very popular because from what i can tell a lot of the um like reddit youtube like little things here and there of people talking about the show because i kind of wanted to see what people's thoughts were on it before i went forward with it because it didn't want it to be another fairy tale clone or have like build up where it doesn't have good payoff but i've been hearing really good things about this so we're gonna keep continuing on and hopefully get uh through the first season i know it's still ongoing it's only go up, gonna go up to 25 episodes unfortunately but whatever anyway do not forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications so you know when i upload this uh next reactions for this video and other videos to come and make sure you check out the Patreon link down below so that you can check out this show and many other shows uncut, you know, full reactions with no CP, copyright, editing, and whatever. Yeah, we all know what Patreon's for. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get started with um, Eden Zero, Episode 9. Let's go. Getting on to that recap, man. <laughs> <laughs> she had to wear this like uniform didn't she honestly it's just like a weebs like fantasy right here man <laughs> oh this guy yo yo I, I don't know why he has that who, who are these <laughs> yo, these girls look like they're 12 you want to explain to me what you're doing here 
I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Jeez, yo, and they're all female VTubers, so you know exactly what this guy's, like, intentions are. I know this show can get dark, but I hope it doesn't get like like that dark. You know what I mean? I mean it's still it's still 14 plus. Amare, sister, sama no shoyubutsu. Yeah. Oh, Iliga, that was that weird uh, fat creature's name that we saw last episode. <laughs> Bro, that one bot with like the don't push button and his belly button, yo, I don't want to push that. I don't know what's going to happen if I do. <laughs> Hey, thanks for all your help. No problem. Why don't you go ahead and hit the easy button, okay? What did I just do? Don't worry about it. Yo, what is he gonna do with this one girl? Is he gonna like shoot her or do something with her? Yo, this Mal was about to like, like, bean on her like really badly too. I can tell. Oh god. My guy, why are you doing this, man? You're a robot, you shouldn't have these kind of like sadistic thoughts. Seriously. <laughs> Who programmed this, this stuff in you, man? <laughs> Bro, she looking for her next BQ content while this guy does this, man. <laughs> bro, nobody's heard of her, bro. Everybody else here has her it's famous, man. She's just a bucket of inspiration right now <laughs> for all these girls. <laughs> They're showing us everybody's sub count. 105 <laughs> Why would they do that? Oh yeah, they they mentioned that earlier, sister. So is sister good or bad? Cause like sister was helping Iliga kidnap uh B cubers. Valkyrie and Hermit. That's what they need to find now. They find Sister Valkyrie and Hermit. Ooh. Oh, she actually got on the ship. Who is this? Does he know her? Does Wise know her? Homura, that's a good name, y'all. I'll be able to really remember that pretty easily. ちょっと誰だか知らねえし、そもそも何であいつがここにいるんだよ。まあ、ちょっと色々あってな。配信者。確かレベッカ。あんた今、エデンズゼロって言ったか。失礼。思ったことがつい口に出てしまう勝負で
様の命を狙う者を乗船させるのは推奨いたしませんそもそもワイズ様には I, I don't think she wants to kill I don't yeah like I don't think she wants to kill Shiki I think she wants to battle him though I was promised this world offered worthy opponents その言ってる魔王って多分俺のことじゃねえと思うんだけどな No she's looking for Ziggy man That demon king, you know? Oh, yo, her ether gear, yo, she's gonna show us what she can do, man. Yo. Bro, what is this messed up planet right now? Yo, these robots don't even understand how messed up this place is right now. Yo, yo, this got dark so quick. Yo, this got dark so quick. I can't deal with this. This is crazy. What is this? What is this planet? Now shake that ass. What? It's a, li it's a little troubling to watch. A little troubling to watch, especially because of the planet that they were on, man. Bro, we're black to this nasty, sliming piece of ugly trash, man. Honestly. Yo, this is bro, a planet like this is creepy as hell. What the hell, bro? Bro, she, bro. <laughs> Yo, Eden Zero right now. It just went from like. Like somewhat dark, having like dark undertones to just going like just it just went off, like oh my god. I hope the people who are turned to stone can come back to life, man. I really hope so. <laughs> None of of what I thought was gonna be this episode was was going to be this intense, I swear. I can't do this right now. This is too much. This is too much, yo. He's melting off. He has he has foam that melts off clothing, man. <laughs> I already like Homura's energy, man. She's been on screen for like less than five minutes. She's already like, yo, I, I, I'm awaiting this challenge, like, profusely, man. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Bro, what happened to this place now, man? Everything looks like it's been kind of just destroyed. Oh my god, man. Dude, like, her being kidnapped, it could have actually ended in a really, really bad way, man. I'm happy they're actually here and they can save her quick. こりゃ予想以上にひでえ場所だな。ロゴアウトの本拠地があると。教会か。何いるかわかんねえんだぞ。それに下手に動くと別かの身が突入だ。誰もいねえ。こちらは何を求めてここへ来たのか。Yo, there's like gatekeepers here, man. What? Crazy. Yo, uh, is this gonna be like um, a robot guard or whatever? Oh, sister, isn't sister the one who has to? She's she's the shining star. I knew she was one of them, huh? Dude, I love this song at the end of the episode, man. Every time it gets me, man. Anyway. Great episode, episode 9 of Eden Zero. Man, oh man, oh, crazy. Oh, that was a great, really enjoyable episode. I'm not even gonna lie. 
the uh, the shock factor was uh, was definitely there. It was um, a little bit um, too much in, in in some areas, but um, Illegal Sun sure seems happy. That big old frog-looking piece of crap creature, but whatever. Um, quick recap of this. Shiki now going to try to find Rebecca. We didn't see a lot about the whole Shiki thing. We did see a lot about what they were doing on Planet Gilsto. And that stuff seemed kind of crazy. Like the whole planet itself looked barren, desolate. People looked like they were owned, you know. It looked like a real slave type of planet. Which is really messed up too. Um, I'm not even really too sure. Because when I looked at it, when they got on that planet and I saw Rebecca, I was like, yo, Rebecca, you are doomed. You need to get the hell out of here ASAP. Like, like whatever you gotta do, get back on that ship and get off this planet. Cause before they were just captured, and I was like laughing about it because it seemed kind of stupid. But then the robots started having like feelings around them or whatever, which kind of made me very uncomfortable because it, they themselves had like their own type of like weird perverted things. And to, to program a, ro a robot to do stuff like that, that's that's weird in my opinion. And I think you're creepy for doing that. I liked it better when the bots had hearts in the right places, <laughs> cause it's like I like the uh, the sweet parts of uh, emotion in these bots. I don't like the uh, the other side of emotion, but whatever. Moving on, um, we meet Homura. Like her a lot. From what I can tell about her character from the opening, every see, every one of these characters are very interesting. If I were to put in order, I would say. Um, I like Shiki obviously the most right now because I haven't gotten Homero is probably second already already second favorite character on the crew Then maybe it's probably gonna be um, What's it called? Uh, what, what's it called the ship's name? Um, I can't remember the ship thing whatever as well as the sister character that character looks pretty cool um, you got Ian Pino and then you also have Happy and then maybe like Rebecca last or something. Wise is kind of a little bit up there. He's kind of a scumbag, but I like that. I like that kind of character. Um, I think he's gonna really like, um, when it counts, he's gonna really put in the work. But yeah. Anyway, Iliga, I didn't expect them to show us that whole scene with the girl turning into the furniture. That was a bit more graphic than I expected it to be. But it was cool because it's not fairy tale, and I keep I keep comparing it to fairy tale, and I shouldn't compare it to fairy tale, but I have to because it's the same author, you know, and and you do have some of the same similar type of characters, so I have to compare it. If it was a different type of uh, creator, then I wouldn't compare it, but that's the only reason I'm comparing it. But um, it's a lot darker, and I like it a lot more because then it it has a lot more leeway with the stories it can tell, and there's no power friendship bullshit. But whatever. Um, then we got to the point where we actually meet Sister, though, which is crazy. Cause Sister looks like a badass. I like when I saw the opening. I, I figured that was Sister. I don't know what it was when I when I first saw the opening. Um, that one character with the spiky teeth, the female-looking one. In my mind, I always thought to myself, like when when they mentioned those characters in the thing, that was that was the character, you know. But whatever. Uh. Anyway, that was a great recap. I can't wait to get more into episode 10. This small little mini arc here has been really good. Um, I hope Illiga gets his ass kicked and burnt like mad crazy. I, I want to see a Shiki Rage moment. That's what I want to see. I want to see a Shiki Rage moment. And I want to see like Rebecca just kicking the shit out of this Illiga guy. Because this guy's been doing this for like to a bunch of different B-Cubers, man. The fact that nobody like reports to missing is crazy. Imagine if people were just kidnapping YouTubers. That would be like a headline story, right? <laughs> But anyway, whatever. Um, I can't wait to get more into this show later on. But it is what it is. I'm going to end the video here. Um, for future Eden Zero videos, I think I'm just going to try to um, catch up as best as I possibly can until the Season 1 finishes. And then move on to other stuff. Because I don't think I'll, I'm going to be able to like break off of this hype train right now. That and Tokyo Revengers are, are, are doing it for me right now. Anime wise at least. Uh, so anyway. I'll see you guys around. I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to always eat your vegetables. They are good for your digestive system. Random fact of the day. Peace out guys.